actualmente ah, ella llevó su facilitadora sin embargo permítanme un momento aquí les muestro lo que son en algunas respuestas verdad de lo que viene siendo la el examen final Sí, ahí todo bien también. todo bien y también tenemos esta que eh, aquí ya en el apartado ustedes tienen que leerlo verdad que sería el, el, el los párrafos y aquí también sería vienen siendo las respuestas para que ustedes puedan eh, ya finalizar lo que viene siendo esa parte de la plataforma y que puedan ya eh, comprender ¿verdad? acerca de todo esto y que podamos finalizar y ya solo quedarnos con las clases. Okay. Gracias, Cristian. Muchas gracias. Eh, excelente. Ahorita sí ya los tengo con la profesora y cualquier duda o consulta que tengan, no duden en comunicarse conmigo. Pasen feliz tarde. Muy amable. Gracias, gracias Cristian. Muy amable. Okay, excellent. Well, thank you very much for waiting. I appreciate it. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Hello, how are you? Good? You're doing good? Yes. Excellent, good. Well, as you know, we only have three more classes to go and then we finished. So we're about to be finishing next week, right? With next week, we only have the 27th, the 28th, and then we finish, right? So thank you very much uh, for waiting for me. Eh, eh, I had a doctor's appointment. Y ustedes saben cómo son las citas de los doctores, ¿verdad? <laughs> Dicen una hora, pero <laughs> ellos llegan a otra hora. So I, I appreciate your time and waiting for me. I know, eh, creo que estaban haciendo con Cristian un, un review de la plataforma. Yes. Este, ¿qué, ¿Qué revisaron? The final exam. The section five. Um, yes. Well, okay, pero estamos en section five yet, right? We are in section five. Yeah, section four are we? Yeah, we are, we are. Because the next two classes are section five. So this week is section four. Section four, yes, yes, that is true. Okay, so thank you very much for waiting. We're going to start with the, today's class. Uh, the last topic we saw, I believe it was uh, adjectives, right? Yeah, it was adjectives. Remind me. Did we see this conversation? Uh, uh, Vimos esta conversación. Did we see this conversation? No, we didn't. Uh -huh. Okay, well, if we didn't, uh, let me check. This one describing people, I think we did. Que nos describimos a nosotros y nuestros compañeros, ¿verdad? Do you remember that? I remember we saw the, uh, how to describe people, but we just describe us. Okay, okay. And, uh, myself, so just myself. Uh, but you did, did you describe adjectives? So, so like I told you, I taught you the describing adjectives, right? Like tall, short, yes. medium height. Yeah. Yes. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. So we're going to go with this conversation. Here we have it. And in this conversation, there is a person describing uh, one of the people that are in this picture. I'm going to share the sound so you can listen to the conversation. Well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? Hello, nice to have you back. In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation where two people use modifiers with participles and prepositions. As you listen to the conversation, try to identify the use of participles and prepositions. In the next video, we will teach you how and when to use each. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I'd like to meet her. Okay, let's listen just Hello, one nice more Hello, nice to have time. you back. In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation where two people use modifiers with participles and prepositions. 
As you listen to the conversation, try to identify the use of participles and prepositions. In the next video, we will teach you how and when to use each. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I'd like to meet her. Okay, so I'm going to <laughs> read the conversation for you. If you have questions about pronunciations or meanings, you can ask me when I finish, okay? Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go? I'm sorry. Why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia, which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I like to meet her. Do you have questions? Yes, I have mm -hmm. one. Uh, ¿Cuál sería la traducción de she couldn't make it? Ella no pudo venir. Ah, okay. Yeah. Casi lo entendí, pero pensé que tenía... No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the context. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another question? No. Okay, I'm going to read it one more time, and then I'm going to send you an audio. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia, which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I like to meet her. Okay, let me send you an audio. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia, which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I like to meet her. Okay, so I'm going to send you the screenshot of this uh, conversation as well, and we can go and practice this activity. Yes? Do we get it? Do we understand? Do you understand yeah. the activity we're doing, right? Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Just let me send you. Okay. There you have it. Remember, the more you practice, you better you do. The better you do it. Let me see. Okay, there we go. Excellent. David?
Hello, hello, hello. Remember to practice intonation para que sonemos un poquito más naturales, ¿ok? Practice intonation, not only pronunciation, intonation as well.
Bye, bye. Hi, Ruth. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Hi, yo. Hi, yo. Hi, a vos. Raúl. Este, oh, she can't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go on tour to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Here, the wind. Oh, I'd like to meet her. Bye, Hugo. Bye. Hi, Raul. Got to, got to see you. Where is Maggie? Oh, she's called Mike. She's, she's called Mike. She's going to concert with Alex. Oh, well, why do you, you go and tell the, the Julia? She doesn't kind of anywhere, any here. Anyone here? Julia, which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the third one in jeans. She's staring near the window. Oh, I'd like to meet her.
Okay, let's practice the conversation because we have time. So now let's see, I'm gonna choose some participants. Please, Carla and Melanie. Carla, you start, okay? Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's, is, she's standing near the window. Oh, I'd like to meet her. Okay, good job and applause, excellent. Just a few corrections, only two. Actually, couldn't, couldn't, and her, right, her. Okay, excellent. Now let's go with two boys. We're gonna go with David Celaya and Daniel Santos. David, you start. Uh, hi, Raul. Good, good, to, good to see you there. Yeah. Good to see you. Where is Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go in the talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No. She is the tall one at jeans. She is starting near the window. Oh, I like to meet her. Okay, excellent. Good job. Let's give them an applause, you guys. But yeah, you few corrections. Talk, right? Talk and meet. Meet. Talk. Okay. Yeah. Talk. And Talk. Meet. meet. Yeah. Meet here. Meet her. Here. Her. Her. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now let's go meet with her. Hugo and Herbert. Hugo, you start. Hi, Raúl. Good to see you. Where is Magic? Oh. She called me it. She went to a concert. Why, Alex? Oh, well, why don't you go a target to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia, what one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses? Over and there? No, she's the third one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I, I'd like to meet her. Okay, excellent. Good job, you guys. Let's give it an applause to the classmates. We're just going to go to a few corrections here. So couldn't, couldn't with talk which okay excellent thank you very much for that now let's continue here with another topic that is called modifiers with participles and preposition this is very easy topic just listen hello again in this session we will understand use modifiers with participles and prepositions. Modifiers with participles and prepositions. Who's Raul? Participles. No se escucha, teacher. I'm wearing a green shirt. No se escucha nada? No, no se escucha. Oh, oh sorry. Sorry about that. Let me... Hello again. In this session, we will understand... Yeah? Okay and use modifiers with participles and prepositions. Modifiers with participles and prepositions. Who's Raul? Participles. He's the man wearing a green shirt. Which one is Raul? He's the one talking to Liz. Who's Liz? Prepositions. She's the woman with short black hair. Which one is Julia? 
She's the tall one in jeans. Who are the Smiths? They're the people next to the window. Which ones are the Smiths? They're the ones on the couch. When we use modifiers with participles, this is how we use them. A participle is used before a noun and they modify it. They finish with ing, but they are not verbs. They are adjectives. Notice we use prepositions along with more information to modify the noun. In this case, the noun woman. When we use modifiers with prepositions, they go after a noun. Tiene apagado el micrófono. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was saying that um, que este es el otro curso. Entonces ya tenía contestado. Déjenme ir al de ustedes. Give me a second. Quiero. Um, I think it's the one here. Wait a second. Okay, yeah, this one. Okay, so we're going to do the activity with that. It says, um, instructions, choose the sentences using modifiers with participles or prepositions correctly. Remember that the participles are the verbs with ing, but actually they are not a they are not verbs. In this case, they will be adjectives. And prepositions are like in, next to, with, on, right? So let's see. Here we have a sentence that says, Clark is the tall guy. He's wearing a bottom-down shirt and cargo pants. What of these two is the correct option sentence? Clark is the tall guy wearing a bottom-down shirt and cargo pants, or Clark is the tall guy wears a bottom down shirt with cargo pants. What do you think is the correct one? Number one or two? The primera teacher. Number one, okay. Next, it says, Adam and Luz, on Luz, I'm sorry, Adam, Adam and Luz, are the good luck looking couple. They are talking to Tom. Adam and Luz are the good looking couple talking to Tom. Adam and Luz is the good looking couple talking to Tom. Are or is? Are. Uh, are. Lean is the young girl. She's in a striped t shirt and blue jeans. Lean is the young girl in a striped t shirt and blue jeans. Lin is the young girl. In, oh my goodness, it's the same. Is it right? Yeah, this is the mismo, right? Oh no, it's strips, stripped and strips. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. What do you think? Is it stripped or strips? Number one, yeah. Jessica is the attractive woman. She's sitting to the left of Antonio. Jessica is the attractive woman sitting to the left of Antonio. Jessica is the attractive women sitting to the left of Antonio. Woman or women? Woman, woman right? Woman. Women is plural, right? AJ is the serious looking boy. He's listening to his new salsa CD. So AJ is the serious looking boy listening to his new salsa CD. AJ is the serious looking boy listens to his new salsa CD. La primera. First one. Okay. That's good. Okay, excellent. Good job. I'm going to ask some participants to help me read the sentences. Can you, Ana, Ana, Yasmin, please read this one, number one? Ana, Yasmin? Clark, the white boy, wearing a bottom down shirt and cart plants. Okay, thank you. 
Daniel Santos, can you read number two, please? Adam and Lois are the good looking couple. Excellent. David Celaya, can you read number three, please? Lainey is the young girl in a strip t shirt and blue jeans. Excellent. Good job. Let's see. Carla, can you read number four? Jessica is the attractive woman sitting to the, to the left of Antonia. Excellent. Melanie, can you read number five? Angie is the serious looking boy listening to his new salsa CD. Excellent. Good job, you guys. And with that, we will be finishing section four, basically, right? Now let's go to the next part here. And we see a visit to New Orleans, okay? Let's listen. Let me see if I share. Yeah, I'm sharing the audio. In this one, we're gonna start looking at the present perfect, okay? The present perfect. Welcome to section 10. In this lesson, we will listen and practice a conversation between two people in New Orleans. See present perfect in context. Listen and practice. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Uh, I've already done that, too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They're a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay, let's listen one more time. Welcome to section 10. In this lesson, we will listen and practice a conversation between two people in New Orleans. See present perfect in context. Listen and practice. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah. I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Uh, I've already done that, too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They're a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay. Welcome to section 10. I'm sorry. Listen I'm and sorry. practice. Okay, listen, I'm going to read it for you. If you have questions about pronunciations or meanings, you can always ask me. It's great to see you. Todd, have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Um, I've already done that too. Have you ridden a, in a streetcar? They are a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Just wait a minute, please. Okay, so, um, sorry, I'm sorry. Do you have questions or do you want me to repeat in a specific pronunciation? No questions? So I'm gonna send you no, the uh, Yo quiero preguntar algo, pero no sé cómo preguntarle. Pero le voy a decir en español. Vaya, vi, veo que dice have you ridden ridden es como montar vea yeah. pero en qué tiempo está eso ridden es el pasado participio es lo que vamos a ver porque vamos a ver el presente perfecto ah ok es la, siempre que uno se aprende 
los verbos se aprende tres columnas. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, de ride es ride, road, reading. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ajá. Ajá, okay. es, que, es que estuve eh, trabajando en la plataforma y vi que habían unos verbos que están, por lo menos está así, bien y así que tienen como... Pero es lo que usted dice que están en... Y yes, el past participle. De hecho, ya vamos a ver eso y le voy a mandar una lista y todo. Yes. Ok, gracias. Excelente. Uh -huh. Another question. Yo creo que escuché que alguien iba a preguntar algo. ¿Alguien más? I think it was a boy. ¿No? Ok. If there are no more questions, I'm going to send you an audio. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Um, I've already done that too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They are a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. <clears throat> literally, it doesn't mean that the feet are killing him, right? So it's not a literal meaning. It means that he feels tired. He has walked a lot. And his feet are, yeah, tired. Wait, wait a second. What did I do? Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. Let me see. Okay, there we go. Hugo, Ana. Hugo, ahí tiene la invitación.
Voy a decir yo lo de todo. Quiero ver. Carla. Lo de todo. Just a few days. I'm really excited to hear. To be here. I can't wait to show you this city. Have you been to a just look yet? Yeah, I live have really been, been to one. Oh, well, oh, a good, a river book tour. Hmm, I live a really down, I don't know, I don't that too. Are you really in the street, in a street car? They are, they... Yo digo few. Eh, pero es que feo. I am excited. Already, otra vez. Y... ¿Cuál era la otra? Did you finish practicing the conversation? Yes, we did. Okay, so if you practice the conversation, there won't be any mistakes. No habrán mistakes, ¿verdad? Sí, eso estábamos repasando, así como las palabras que no se nos escuchan ah. igual. Okay. Oh, uh -huh. okay, perfect. Okay. ¿Y ese ruidito que se escucha son, son los auriculares o qué será? Creo como que está lloviendo, creo que soy ajá, yo. Ajá. Sí, creo que soy yo. Se escucha como así como una cotita. Así. Sí, soy yo, creo que sí, son mis audífonos. No podía mejorar el, el audio. It's okay, it's okay. Uh -huh.
Okay, welcome back. So we're going to have some participants practice the conversations here and we're going to correct some mistakes in case there are mistakes, right? Let's go first with Anna Jasmine and uh, Hugo. Okay, Anna and Hugo. You start, Anna. It's great to see you. So, how you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days and really no, no, excited. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Espera. Espera. La parte de top no va a ser Hugo. <laughs> Sorry. Ah. Ahí donde dice Todd va Hugo. Ah, ok. Y después en Jan va usted de nuevo. Yo, yo sería. Ya. Yeah. Este eh. solo había dicho que no. <risa> oh, ¿no se escuchó el nombre de Hugo cuando lo dije? No, no, no escuché bueno, se me corté. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. Just okay. a fifth day, I really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. How you been to just club yet? Yeah, I did already been to one. Oh well, how about how about I riverboat tour? Tour. I did already done that too. How you reading in a street car? There are a lot of fun. I'm driving. That's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take uh, it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay, good job. Thank you. Let's give the next class message an applause. Good job. Let's just go with a few corrections. Really excited. Show you, todo junto. Show you, no. Show you, no. Show you. Show you. Club. I've already. I've already. I've already. Y esta con esta, eh, todo junto. How about. How about. How about. Here. Really. Take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy, right? Now let's go with Daniel Santos and Carla. Daniel, you start. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Can you hear me? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah. I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Uh, I've already done that too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? There are a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Excellent. Good job. Let's give an applause to the classmates. Good job. Excellent. Okay. So now just a few corrections. It would be actually. No, just one correction. Actually, right? Actually. Actually. Okay. Now, in this conversation, you can see that the people are talking about activities they do in New Orleans. So now we're going to pretend that we are talking about El Salvador, right? In a city, you can talk about in a, una ciudad específica El Salvador. For example, here, instead of saying Todd, have you been in, y le puedo cambiar el Todd, ¿verdad? También el nombre del compañero. Y puedo decir que yo estoy hablando con Ana y digo, Ana, it's great to see you, Ana. Have you been in, yo no sé, Sonsonate? Long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. 
Have you been to qué cosas hay que ver en son sonate? No es un jazz club. Have you been to Volcán de Izalco? ¿Eso queda en son sonate? O sea, si fuera la ciudad que yo pongo, ¿verdad? Pero supongamos que yo digo El Salvador en general, right? Son sonate. No, ah, creo que hay algo turístico en son sonate, pero no recuerdo qué. Nahuizalco, pueblo, pueblos vivos. Eso sonate también el volcán de Izalco y Nahuizalco, quedan los dos ahí. Sí. Ok. Ok. Izalcos Volcano, we're going to say, right? Have you been to Izalcos Volcano yet? Yeah, I've already been to, uh, to one, right? Y van a cambiar todo esto, toda esta información, con información de alguna ciudad del de Salvador que ustedes decidan. O sea, básicamente cambiarían el nombre, Todd, la ciudad, right? Um, this one, y puede ser que no sea city, ¿verdad? Puede ser que sea un town, un pueblo. A riverboat. Reading in a street cart. Ok, so, todas esas cosas las vamos a cambiar con información de algún lugar de here in El Salvador. So we're going to make the conversation, remake the conversation. Do you get it? Yes? ¿Se entiende? Yeah? Puedo volver a poner imagen. Yeah. Ready? Somos a reestructurar la conversation. That's all we're going to do. Okay, let's see. Let's go and do it. Ahí tienen ya las invites.
Did you finish? ¿Terminaron la actividad? Did you finish the activity? Ah, ok, ok. Almost. Good. ¿Pero están participando todos en la actividad? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> what a taxi <laughs> oh my god that's funny <laughs> good <laughs> and then you so practice okay
Okay, I want to listen to your conversations about the moto taxis and all the stuff, okay? <laughs> so we're going to start with the group number one, which is <laughs> Ana, Daniel, Herbert, Hugo, okay? Your conversation. And then with the group. <laughs> Empecemos con el grupo número uno para que hagan su conversación acá. Ana, Daniel, Herbert, en Hugo, please. Bueno, ya me fue. Bueno, ya me fue. Sí hicieron la conversación, ¿verdad? Este solamente cambiamos los, los Ajá. Lo que eso es... quiero que, que me la digan con, la, con los datos que ya cambiaron. Ok. Pero no sé. Nosotros, nosotros pusimos, digamos, cada quien hizo uno con diferente nombre y diferente lugar. ¿No lo hicieron no. en grupo? Ajá. Bueno, prácticamente sí va, pero... A la hora de hacerlo, cada quien le cambió el lugar y el nombre. No tenemos el mismo. Mm, well, that's a problem. Nadie tiene el mismo, o sea, nadie tiene el mismo de lo que dice otro. Bueno, vaya, hagamos el ejemplo con el grupo número dos para que veamos más o menos. David, Carla y Melanie, ¿ok? Ok, chicas, mándense. <laughs> it's great to see you, Jose. Have you been in La Libertad long? Just a few days. I am really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the the surf city. <laughs> Perdón. It's okay. Sí, sí, te falta, te falta. Melanie. Eh, no, Carla. No, no, permítame, es que es por... por... No. Era un lugar uno, ahorita le tocaba ahí a la... Sí, eh, eh, se la luz, por favor. No, pero, no, pero termina la conversación, pero ahí le falta la es, segunda parte, Carla. Es que lo que pasa es de que venían anunciando y no podía. <laughs> okay. I can't wait to show you the surf city. Have you been to Sunset Park? Sunset Park, Sunset Park yet? Le va a dar usted. David, le doy yo. David. Dele, dele, dele. Yeah, I really been to one. Oh well, how how about a surf class? Oh. I um, really don't talk to. Have you ridden in a moto taxi? They're a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Excellent, good job. <laughs> Excellent, thank you. Well, David was only go, girls. You can do it, girls. <laughs> he was like uh, emotional support. He was the emotional support. Okay, excellent, you guys. Okay, let me show you uh, what I was telling you about the present perfect. Okay, so the present perfect is used with have, and we use the third column of the verbs. Let me show you an example. And I'm going to send you this link as well. Let me, let me copy it. So I can. <clears throat> okay. So these are 100 common verbs. And you can see in this page that they have them in the uh, base form past and past participle. So what we have to pay attention to in these classes is the past participle, okay? So this part of here. So let's listen. To be, were, 
been to have had had to do did done so you can see here so this part right here is the one we need okay this one right here and if you go down down here we have two three four parts of this okay so you can find a even more verbs right for example this one read this thing oh what's that which to be built built to fall fell fallen 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 okay but if you can see we have 100 verbs here and the past participle of these verbs so that is going to help us with the next activity because look at the next activity for example we have one verb in the base form and we need to write it or we need to match it with the past participle form for example the past participle of want is wanted okay of talk is talked only adding ed. Then in this part right here, we need, these are the irregular verbs, right? The ones that change. So what is the past participle of C? Went through, saw, drunk, left, song, slept. So, so, pero no, el past participle es sin, no sé por qué dice que es so. But when, no, esto no es past participle. What? Me, me siento engañada. Wait a minute. Past participle, past participle. Wait a second, please. Okay, I think this one, yes, this one is better. Look at it. So give, the past participle of give sería given. Si no lo buscan ahí en la, en la tabla que les acabo de mandar. Okay, I think it's given. Go is gone. Okay, let's see here. Chat is chatted. And dance is danced. Let's, para que chequemos si está correcto o no. Wait a second. I'm just going to copy the link first. Okay, then I'm going to click on finish, check my answers. You see? Yeah, it is correct. Yes, yes. So this one is, is the past participle. The other one was about only the simple past. Okay. There we you go. Okay, tienen que hacer el, los verbs in the past participle. Es lo que van a pasar ahorita. You're going to um, pass the verbs into the past participle. Let me see. Okay, let's go and work. Ahí tienen las invitaciones para que puedan unirse. Daniel, Herbert, Ana. Daniel y Herbert. Daniel.
Copy. Hello. ¿A usted le dio problema lo de forget? Sí. Sí. Está raro porque. Este, esperen. Porque está bien escrito. Sí, exactly. Ajá, porque todas las demás me salieron buenas. La de la primera parte también, solamente eso. Entonces yo lo busqué ahí en Google y así me aparecía. Yo pensaba que lo había mal escrito, pero no. No, 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 déme un ratito, quiero ver la página. <coughs> y yeah, ellos lo tienen malo, porque sí está correcto, así como usted lo escribe. <coughs> Entonces, okay. usted diga, tengo un 10. Tengo 10. Ya. Yeah. <risa> Como que lo clasmo y no se quieren ir, mira. They don't wanna go, they don't wanna leave. They have to, ahí viene. Okay, you guys, I think there was a problem with the bird forget, right? Because it's forgotten and it didn't accept it like that. So there is a problem on the uh, link, like the worksheet, okay? Yeah, there is a problem there. Okay, you guys, that will be it for today. And I will see you guys again on next Monday, right? I'm going to see you next Monday, and then we have Monday, Tuesday, and then we finished, right? Okay. Bye, you guys. Have a bye. good night. Bye bye. Take care. Bye. 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 Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. Uh, salvado por la campana. Bye. Bye bye.